When a character motion is given, authoring Gaumann animation for the character is one of the fundamental steps in the computer animation industry. A traditional workflow for doing this is time and labor consuming. The designer is asked to insert keyframes by manually editing the mesh with predefined controllers. The keyframes are inserted densely and will be connected via linear interpolation for animation. In a traditional workflow, it takes more than 40 hours for an expert to compose a Garmin animation with 400 frames. With our proposed workflow, this text can be finished within 5 minutes. Here we show our workflow with the Maya plugin we developed for our system. First, we load the body motion of the character. Here we preview the body motion. Now we insert one keyframe. We first select the location of the keyframe, select a Kennedy garment shape, predict the intrinsic parameters, and propagate to the whole sequence. For more technical details, please refer to our paper. Now we check the result of our Garmin animation prediction. We can continue to insert new keyframes, for example for frame 175. We are not satisfied with the current Garmin prediction. We may mark it as a keyframe and select a new candidate from the data set. We may continue this until the animation sequence is satisfactory. We may also delay the keyframe if we don't want it anymore, and continue to insert new keyframes if necessary. Here we show our final Garmin animation result. Once the Garmin animation is created, our system can update it automatically once the underlying body motion has been changed. Here we added the body motion. And the Garmin animation is updated accordingly. Here we first show the animation without updating. It has significant artifact as the Garmin motion is not aligned with the new body motion. Now we update the Garmin animation. The new Garmin is moving naturally according to the body motion while the previous designs are kept without any further manual effort. Here we visualize the Garmin change during the editing process by comparing it side by side. Here on the left is the input body motion. On the right, we have a keyframe inserted at the beginning, marked as a red on the timeline. The latent parameters are learned from that keyframe and are used to generate Garmin shape for other frames. When inserting a new keyframe, we see that the Garmin shape is the same at the beginning and changing smoothly towards the second keyframe. Now the video is paused at the second keyframe to see the difference between the left and the right. The change happens since we have learned a new latent parameter for the second keyframe and interpolate the parameter in the latent space. The new latent parameter will be used for the rest of the animation. It is similar when inserting more keyframes. Here we show the result when updating the body motion. The yellow region on the timeline marks where the body motion has been changed. Now on the right, only the body motion has been changed. Now the gamma motion has also been updated accordingly. Instead of selecting a candidate for a keyframe, our system also supports direct shape editing when inserting a new keyframe. Here we compare the Garmin shape between the first, before editing, the second, mesh editing, and the third, projecting the edit mesh into our latent space and project it back into 3D space using our trained network. The second row shows the mesh quality. 
we show the animation before and after the editing side by side. The two animations start at the same keyframe and end at the same keyframe. But the frame at the midpoint has been changed and marked as a keyframe. Here we show another example. In this case, the menu editing creates a lot of artifacts on a garment shape, so the edit mesh is far from what we have in the training dataset. Our approach captures the trend of this editing, but has some artifacts such as self-intersection when projecting it back to the 3D shape space. Here we show more examples with different garments and different characters. We show a side-by-side -side comparison of two animations starting from the same keyframe, but ending with two different keyframes. Here we compare a sequence of ground truth simulation in our dataset and a reconstruction through our learned latent space. Since our system is only driven by a fixed period of previous body motion, one application is to create garment movement for loop animation. Thank you for watching.